the devil has understood the fact that he could rampage the souls of mothers. He has understood the fact that when he has the souls of mothers in the family line kind, he's going to rip them off their feet and make them erratic out of their own misfortune. The devil has had a play in the fact that he could turn everything around just for his own laughter. The devil is someone that is so crafty in his works. Yes, of the fact that you could pray so hard. Yes, of the fact that you could communicate so hard in the spirit. He would just look for a way to maneuver his ways around. He's just someone that would just understand the fact that he could just keep fed the mother's heart. Because you know that the mother's heart is so delicate. He knows that the mother's heart is so loving. He knows that the mother's heart is so pure. He knows that the mother can dry herself in tears when she's touched. The mother is just so fragile that everything that happens around her, she's so conscious of her environment. Her children is her main priority. Her husband is someone that should also cater for her needs. But her mother is so supportive in the fact that she might not look at what the husband might actually have, nor what he has to support his needs. But she just looks for the way to upgrade her children's heart. If you understand the fact that what you have been called on to is not something that is of micro majority. It's not something that you could actually mingle around. But a mother is delicate. And if you can understand the sixth aspect of what a mother stands for, you understand what you have been called on to. First, a mother is maleficent in character. A maleficent mother is a mother that has a good heart. A mother that could actually actualize the fact that her children is the main priority of life. A maleficent mother is someone that will not look at the way things are around her. She will actually thrive hard above all her peers to make sure that she comes to a inevitable end. In everything, a maleficent mother is always orderly. She will not look at the fact that her children screening for me is actually hanging around in the sitting room. And her husband comes down from her workplace and finds the boot of his child on top of the TV set. Now he's screening from on top of the hand drawer whereby a maleficent mother in which she can be orderly in her behavior can actually package all these things together and live a better family. 99% of Nigerian homes have crashed today because mothers have not actually come to acknowledgement of who they are in Christ. If you're maleficent, you must be order. And order is not all about something that you should have wear a good cloth or look very fine in your Mary Sumner, wear the high heels on shirt, but should be orderly in your home. Your home is your first point of call. If you're orderly in your home, then you can be ordered in church. It's just simple. You can't be disordered in the home and expect to be orderly in the church. You're actually doing the opposite. You can be expecting the fact that you could be so orderly in your behavior, but orderly comes priority after your maleficent behavior of a good heart. In everything, a mother is just together with her family. That's all the fact that some men can be so agile, some men can be so beastful that they could be able to use their women as their feast. But a mother will always gather her children together, pray together, because together brings oneness, together brings love, together brings hope, together brings acknowledgement, together brings no face, together brings everything possible that God has actually called mothers into. And it's your first point of call to be maleficent, to be orderly, and most especially to be together. And everything, if a mother has these three categories of life, she can lead to her fourth point of call, which is harmony. A mother must have a good voice. Just all the fact that your voice is so coarse, you may be able to say some things that could actually mend your children's hearts. Not when your child is actually bruised in his leg, and you're just shouting and shouting, and you say, you should have said some things that could suit his heart. Some children are way well today because of what their mother has told them and back then. You just open your mouth and be telling your, your child that he's stupid. He can't progress. He's foolish. And he grows with that mentality that he knows that my life is useless. Since my mother has told me that I'm useless, then I should be useless because my mother told me so. Why would you do that to your child? Why would you make him look so, so, so less important? Whereby that child can be someone great if you have acknowledged him and made him someone great. Some children today are not wayward because they chose to. But they are wayward because of what they had heard at the past. Mothers, please help us. Amen. As we celebrate you today, you should be everything. 
everything in the family should satisfy your husband sexually you satisfy your children emotionally you also satisfy your family financially because you're also human beings like the man you should not just look at everything and expect the man should wake up every morning having some few things in his head acknowledge the father you are everything to him in everything you should have a revival heart pray without season pray as if there's no tomorrow pray that you should know that your days shall end today pray as if your family depends on it pray and let the heavens open in your family happy mother's day